In today's screencast, I'm going to walk you through how you should be setting up your gradebook for standards-based standards -based grading with Infinite Campus. Please keep in mind a couple different things. If you're at the high school, you're currently using a blended grading system, so you're still using trimester grades as well as standards. If you're at the middle school, you are no longer using trimester grade. So whenever I talk about using the trimester grade task, if you're at the middle school, just ignore me. Also, I'm not going to talk about the gradebook um, grade calc options because that has been a moving target this year and so if you'd like to know what your grade book um, grade calc options should be set at please contact me directly so that way I can give you the latest word on that um, and then the other piece is the actual posting of grades varies a little bit depending on which school you're at um, so do make sure that you check in with that uh, with me about that as well so let's sort of dig in and give you an overview. And remember, this is supposed to cover both schools, so some of it, just pay attention as to whether I'm talking about both schools or only at the high school. The big thing to check on first is, under our settings, checking our categories for the class that we're working in. At the high school, the instructions has been so far that you should have two categories, one set for formative, one set for summative, and then a third category set for standards. So looking at this teacher's gradebook, I could modify journal. In this case, my guess is that journal is really his formative assessments. So we would consider this formative. Now, because again, this, is, this piece right here is for the high school, I am going to have only trimester grade checked off. If you are at the middle school, then for this particular option, I would select all my standards instead. So high school is trimester only, middle school you would select your standards. Okay, one or the other, not both. Then I'll click save. Then for the high school, we would need to have one category that is for our summatives. So in this case, this category should be called summative. We have all of our sections checked off. And again, because we're at the high school, I'm checking off only trimester. If I was at the middle school, the summative category would be applied to standards only instead. And then click Save. For the high school, the high school has an additional standard category created. So there's standards category, standards with a weight of zero, applied to every category, uh, every section of their class. And then in this instance, every standard that they have is going to be checked and do not check anything under the grade tasks. So this category is going to reside only within our standards. Click Save. And then close. Now, if I was at the middle school, I would have an additional category created for guiding principles and the guiding principles category would be aligned only to the guiding principles underneath our standards and not to the standards for our class themselves. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm going to click close. So an easy way to sort of see where everything lays out is via our assignment overview. And when we go to assignment overview, we wind up getting one big chart that shows the categories that we have and what assignments are aligned to those categories. So in this case, I have a standards category that is aligned to the standards for this class. And under three of those categories, I have an assignment. And then under trimester grade, I have both formative and summative, as well as assignments that are aligned to underneath those. So let's modify one of our existing assignments to also be aligned to our standards. So, for example, the DISH assignment is an assignment that this teacher has already aligned to specific standards. So when I click on DISH, which I could access through here, or I could also access through the assignment list in our gradebook, as well as by clicking on the abbreviation in our gradebook under trimester grade. Then when I scroll down, I'm going to select which standard this assignment is a piece of evidence for, and then, because I'm at the high school, select trimester grade as well as which category that this assignment would fall into. Now, if you are at the middle school, you would select the standard and then select whether it is a formative or a summative for that standard. For our standards-based grading, our scoring type should be rubric. 
whereas underneath trimester grade for the high school, you can leave it as points. And then you click save. Okay, and so to repeat that process, if this writing assignment should also be aligned to standards, then when I select writing assignment, I can scroll down in the screen, select which st standard this is being used as evidence for. Again, if I was at the middle school, I could select whether it's formative or summative, whereas at the high school, I would select only the standards category. And then I click, click save. And then you'll see that this particular assignment that I just edited now appears underneath our formative category, underneath trimester, as well as under the standards category for the appropriate standards that I selected above. So although this is only one assignment, it is appearing in three different places. So let's navigate back into the gradebook and see how that really, well, adds some fun to the mix. In our gradebook, because at the high school they are still using trimester grade, we do have one screen that has all of our assignments in one place. So that is helpful. But at the middle school and at the high school when we transition away from trimester grade, all of your grades are going to be accessed via only the standard that it is aligned to. So although I have all these assignments underneath trimester grade, if I navigate to, for example, the first standard, you'll notice that I have no assignments. Underneath the second standard, I only have one, etc., etc. Now this becomes extremely confusing if you are trying to grade any of these assignments. So my recommendation for those of you that are grading with standards is to not grade through the traditional grading screen of your gradebook. Instead, Open up your settings panel, click, in, click on assignment list, and then select score next to the assignment that you wish to score. Keep in mind that for those of you that have a lot of assignments, you'll need to scroll up and down in this window, and you may also see tabs across the bottom to be able to navigate to other spreads. Uh, other pages of assignments. In those instances, taking advantage of gradebook sequence, assignment name, score, assigned date, and due date for your sorting is going to be extremely helpful to find the assignment that you're looking for. So if I wanted to assess the writing assignment, I'm going to click score. And that will open up what is called the multi-score window. Now the multi-score window has the standards that have been aligned to this assignment as well as in this case since this is a trimester this is a trimester class class at the high school it will also show us the trimester task here a place to provide comments for the entire assignment as well as the traditional flags that we are used to seeing in our old style grade books so turned in missing late incomplete cheated or exempt if you are collecting online submissions um, through Infinite Campus, it would also show you the link here, like you are used to seeing in the past. So assessing a student for standards and for trimester grades, there are two different ways that you can start. For some teachers at the high school, they prefer to enter in their trimester grade manually and then come back in to our standards. And if we are going to fill our standards, we can choose the Fill Scores and Comments button in the upper right-hand corner, select the grade that is most common, and then fill all that are empty and click fill. What we can then do is come in and change the ones that are necessary to be the score that the student actually earned. And then we can click save and then close. Now what happened there is that we have now posted assignments, grades for this assignment, no matter where they fall within our grade book. So we'll see that we have scores in for right in our trimester grade, as well as in the standard. Okay, oh, and I chose the wrong standard. So hopefully this one has it. Okay, so there we have scores here. Now, the other sort of line of thought in terms of how to make your grading easier 
some teachers that I've talked to that have actually gone through and timed themselves on scoring find that scoring the outliers first and then filling in the most common score is the most efficient means of grading for them in the multi-score window. So filling in the scores and then using fill scores and comments and filling empty through the box below is the important piece for them. They find that that is quicker, but it's totally up to you as to which method works best. Keep in mind that we do have the ability to see what their attendance was on the day that this assignment was due. So in this case, if this student was absent that day, I would see the score here. Uh, I would see that they were absent. And then I would also see, um, I could also drop a particular score for a standard if I only wanted to assess them on some indicators or standards or, or only on trimester grade, for example. Um, the assignment comments that you see here apply across the board to all three scoring groups. So I would see the assignment comments appear three times if I were to pull a report for this child. And these flags also apply across the board as well. So overall, that is how you would set up your gradebook for a blended standard or um, standard and trimester based grading system. Again, this is a moving target this year, so this is just the up to date version, as far as I know it, as of December 10th, 2015. If you would like help setting this up or getting started at all, you guys know where to find me, simmonsclassroom.com. Make an appointment with me, and we can certainly sit down and make sure that you are set up the most current way that you are supposed to be. Have a great day and good luck with your grading.